Pastry cream is a rich, thick custard, and it's an important component of so many desserts. We got down the basics with that vanilla bean pastry cream. Now it's time to put that pastry cream to use by making individual apricot orange souffles. Whenever I make a souffle, I like to have a sauce ready. I'm going to make a complimentary raspberry fruit coulis. I've got a cup of raspberries. To this, I'll add three tablespoons of sugar, just a little bit to sweeten it. And of course, a pastry chef always strains their sauces. There we go. So now that I've taken care of the sauce, can move on to the souffle. I've got two fresh apricots diced up. To enhance and intensify the apricot flavor, a quarter cup of diced dried apricots. And to further add thickness and to sweeten, a quarter cup of apricot jam. Then to bring out the orange flavor, a good tablespoon of orange zest. And three tablespoons of orange juice. do is cook down the apricots and let everything simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. There we go. So it's time to puree. There we go. I'll add a splash of vanilla as well as an ounce of orange liqueur. This is the same pastry cream recipe that I made to fill those strawberry tarts. So I've got my warm apricot mixture and I have my cool pastry cream. And I'm tempering the pastry cream and the apricot puree together. What lightens the souffle is whipped egg whites. I have the three egg whites that I saved from the yolks I separated making the pastry cream. I need one more egg white. I'll whip the yeast until foamy, then I'll gradually add a third of a cup of sugar and whip the whites to a stiff point. There we go. And to lighten this base mixture, I first fold in half of the whites, and it's expected that the whites at this point will deflate a little bit, but then the next addition lightens everything back up again. And the second fold, I'm very gentle. I'm gonna keep these egg whites nice and fluffy. This is the point that they're ready for the oven. I've already greased my souffle dishes with a straight side. That helps the egg whites to rise up. But then I coated the inside with sugar. That gives the egg whites something to cling onto as the souffle rises in the oven. This is the point that they're ready for the oven. Make sure your oven is preheated to 400 degrees. These take about 25 minutes. They'll rise up, and when you see an even, beautiful brown color on top, get ready, because it's time for dessert. Oh, look at them. This is why you make souffle, just so you can show off a little bit. Just a little dusting of icing sugar on top. Remember, they're very, very hot, so you want to serve them on a saucer so your guests can spoon in. You have the sauce on the table. You take a spoonful of that lovely, light, fluffy souffle out, or a little in the center, and that way every bite has a bit of that apricot orange, light as air souffle, <gasps> some raspberry sauce. Spectacular. What a way to impress a crowd. So now I know you're ready for the next step, and that is a classic birthday cake. It's a caramel pastry cream.